I have to say, I was more than a little concerned, um, and I think this is before he was crowned, in fact, I'm certain it was before he was crowned, um, that he uh, said that he would look favorably upon an inquiry into the historic associations of the British monarchy with slavery. Now, <clears throat> he shouldn't have said that because the claim that Western civilization is responsible for slavery and that all white-skinned people who are Western civilization should do penance for slavery is such a racially prejudiced position, anti-white position, um, and such a terrible distortion and such a weapon against Western civilization that it has to be resisted absolutely. I agree with you. And uh, the mm -hmm. idea that Britain or its monarchy is kind of has some sort of responsibility for slavery is preposterous. As where, from where I'm sitting, there's virtually been there's been virtually no uh, uh, culture uh, uh, in the world which has not been involved in slavery. Um, that the slavers of old were black and brown skinned in Africa and the eastern countries. Yes, the West was involved in slavery to its shame, sure. But it was the West that got out of slavery. Britain invented anti-slavery. That was our contribution in Britain to the slavery movement. So yes, the West was complicit, sure. But so was everybody else. And today there are still slavers and they're not white skinned. So this is a whole distortion. So this is an issue that he should never, ever have gone near. Um, and that augurs ill. That augurs very ill because people who need the monarch to be absolutely above the fray in the way that the late queen was are going to hear that and they're going to say, what well, we're, we're already under siege. We as white people are already under siege. We're being told that we carry the historic stain of slavery. We're being accused of being racist on the basis of the color of our skin. And here is the king saying, we've got to look at this in terms of the monarchy as well. That's not going to go down very well. It's a very poor augury. So I'm concerned. Perhaps he might like to ask the question as to why one of his forebears cut, in other words, cancelled William Wilberforce, who was the privileged, white, wealthy Christian male who led the charge to end slavery, because that's what happened. Well, indeed. I mean, once, but you know, this is such a can of worms. And it's a can that, you know, it's not it shouldn't be open, but it's inappropriate to expect white society to open it because it's not white society's can. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it was a universal Absolutely. horror. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So There would have been no, I mean, slavery is abhorrent. And the fact that we don't focus very much on the fact that there's an estimated 45 million slaves today and they are essentially in non-white societies tells you a lot about the motivation of people who want to revisit the past yep. and ignore yep. the heroism of people in this country. Precisely, precisely. Who ended it. Precisely. With no material advantage, in fact, real disadvantage to themselves. And then to overlook the fact that thousands of white Royal Navy sailors lost their lives on the high seas. Quite so. Seeking to preserve Quite slaves. So. Were they racist too? Quite so. Quite so. Quite so.